Right now, a fire at a Buckhead target is now being investigated as arson. These are really good pictures on your screen. The fire department just released these photographs of a person of interest in this case, and this is at least the fourth fire that's allegedly been intentionally set inside a Metro Atlanta retail store in just the last couple of months. 11 Alive's Bobeth Yates is alive at the target off Piedmont and Bobeth. The store is still closed tonight, but do we have any timeline about when it could possibly reopen? No, no timeline at all. In fact, the latest we've got from Target is that they are unsure how long it will actually take to repair and fix all the damages inside the store. In the meantime, investigators tell me that this fire was intentionally set so someone could steal and get away. And this may not be the only location being impacted this way. I think it's terrible because that, that target, um, I think it was it was damaged in 2020 as well. So I just uh, I don't understand how people uh, are just not expressing their disappointment or their challenges in the right way. Atlanta resident Joe Stanford expressing frustration that it could take weeks or longer for this Buckhead target to reopen. Back in 2020, it took several months for the same store to open again after it was damaged by looters. But this case, the damage is caused by a fire set around 5 p.m. yesterday on the first floor in the bedding section. Late this afternoon, Atlanta Fire and Rescue identified this man as a person of interest. This at least the fourth fire that appears to have been set intentionally in a Metro Atlanta retail in August, a 14 year old was arrested for starting a fire in the Petrie City Walmart. More recently, fires were set at Walmart on Howell Mill and Vine City. Atlanta Fire and Rescue shared this photo today of a person of interest in the Vine City fire, and none of the Atlanta stores have reopened yet, leading people to worry about the impacts to the community. Atlanta does have a problem with food deserts, and so this, this target is one of the places that. Um, I know the, the people in the area rely on for, for, for things as simple as fresh foods and there's a lot of uh, college students in the area that use those for supplies, so it's gonna, definitely going to be inconvenience. Again, Target could not tell us the exact timeline of when the store will reopen, but I want to stress officials believe that this fire was intentionally set as a distraction so people can steal and quickly get away. In Atlanta, Bobeth Yates, 11 Alive News. All right, Bobeth.